In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a corpus in the Sketch Engine by web crawling the internet for your data. The function that you use to do this is called Web Boot Cat. And once you've created your corpus using the Web Boot Cat function, you'll see that your corpora um, will be available to view and to query in this My Corpora list here. So the first thing we do is to click on the Web Boot, Boot Cat uh, link on the left. The first thing that we then do is to choose a corpus ID. Um, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to create um, a web crawled corpus about skiing. Once you've um, given your corpus an ID, uh, also it's worth remembering that you can only use letters, numbers, underscores and hyphens in the corpus ID. You can't use any spaces. So once you've done that, uh, you pick the language of your corpus. There are many languages to choose from. Uh, they actually go um, right off the page. I'm going to go with English, so I select that. I want to be able to build word sketches, so I tick this box. Then when we actually uh, collect the data, we can choose whether we want to send some seed words um, to the internet. Um, those seed words will then be uh, found on web pages and any web pages that contain those seed words um, the data on those pages will then be collected so that's one option or we can also specify um, a list of URLs um, of the web pages that we want to collect the data from so in this example I'm going to go with some seed words and I sort of pre-made a list of, of seed words that relate to skiing as you can see here, I've got any multi-word exp uh, expressions enclosed in quotes. So once you've got your seed words, you um, you click next. I'm not going to go into the advanced options in this video because this is just a, a, a quick a video using the default options to web crawler corpus. I will do a more advanced web bootcat video um, probably after this one, but I won't talk about that in this video. So then we click next. Now what you can see is that the sketch engine is downloading the data from the pages that contain those seed words that I've just sent through to the internet. I quite like this feature because you can see the um, the data as, it, as it's ticking over, as it's counting the files and, and registering and counting how much da data is being downloaded and things like that. Um, in this box here you can see the URLs that are being retrieved. So depending on how many seed words you send will depend on how long it takes to download the data. To collect 10 million tokens of data for the corpus that would require sending between 75 to 100 seeds uh, through the um, web boot cat function in the sketch engine. I think I sent about 15 uh, seeds, so it, it won't take as long to process. So there we go, all of the data has now been downloaded and the corpus is busy um, being compiled now. Um, it would be compiling the sketch grammars so that the functions such as the word sketch and the thesaurus work in my corpus. So once that's done, uh, we click OK. Now we can see that my corpus skiing web demo contains um, 44 files in a folder called skiing web demo and, and that amounts to 75,000 tokens. So we then, before we open our corpus in the sketch engine, we just make sure that it's being compiled. Um, in the compilation process we need to select a sketch grammar uh, for our data. So I'm going to go with this option here, it's actually the default option in the sketch engine. It's English Pen TB Tree Tagger 2.2 and it's the most recently updated sketch grammar. There's also the option here to add your own customised sketch grammar or a sketch grammar that you've written. 
I'm not going to touch upon that in this video because it's slightly more advanced so we'll stick with the default options so once we've done that we click compile and now that that's finished we can click OK we can open our corpus in the sketch engine and we are here in what we call the concordance entry form so now it's the corpus is in there and it's ready to query we know we're using the skiing corpus because it's up here on the, the top next to uh, the corpus heading so now we're now ready to query our corpus so the first term I'm going to look for is skier if I can spell it make a concordance so there we go we have 243 hits of the lemma skier and so there we go uh, again we can use the other functions here on the left hand side so we can also create a word list um, and we can also create a word sketch so let's look at the word sketch for the verb ski so in this video I've shown you how you can create your own corpus by using the web bootcat function in the sketch engine. I've shown you how you can compile your corpus and I've shown you how you create the web crawled corpus by using seed words. And just as I suspected, the corpus that we just created here skiing web demo is in the my corpora table and it has 75,000 tokens. If you wanted to do a little bit more with this corpus, you can add some information about the corpus and you can add more data to the corpus. So you can either add more data by web bootcatting more seed terms, you can add more data by selecting specific URLs and web pages to add to the corpus, or you can add data to the corpus by uploading um, data from your computer. Use it, clicking the little pencil will allow you to edit the, how the corpus is configured and by clicking on the red X there uh, you can actually delete your corpus. So I hope this video has given you a very brief overview of how you can quickly web crawl a corpus using the default options in the sketch engine. I welcome any questions that you have about anything that I've discussed in this video or indeed in any other videos. And yes, please get in touch. I hope this video has been helpful.